Aries! Welcome to your reading for the first half of April, uh, the 1st to the 15th. Happy birthday! We are in Aries season right now. Woohoo! So, um, yeah, let's see what's going on for you guys uh, for the first half of April. Yeah? So, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for or for all Aries at this time. Please bring forward the best messages for Aries for the time period of April 1st to the 15th. Thank you so much, Spirit. Aries, Aries, Aries. What's up with you guys? Again, happy, happy birthday. Aries. All right. Let's get into this, guys. What do we have for you, Aries? So, underlying energy, we're starting off with the Six of Cups. So, for some of you, this is talking about a soulmate. Um, you may meet someone, you may have already met someone, you may be already dealing with someone who you consider to be a soulmate. Um, this is also talking about a childhood um, uh, inner child work, uh, ch inner child healing. Um, there could be some situations that are popping up um, in your reality right now that are triggering memories or past hurt from childhood. I'm really picking up that, that that's big. That's really big for some of you right now, or at least during this period. Um, childhood regression, um, inner child work, uh, healing some wounds from childhood that have kind of been plaguing you throughout your life. Next, we have the uh, Prince of Pentacles. So here, this is also the Knight of Pentacles. We also have the Six of Wands. Victory, excellent. And the Ace of Wands. Excellent. So um, let's see here. With the Prince of Pentacles, um, you're moving through this situation slowly, okay? And you're doing it, you're doing it in a methodical manner because you really want to be done with this. And this is for those of you that are dealing with um, uh, childhood uh, healing, uh, healing your inner child, inner child work. You're really moving through it slowly and methodically because you reached a point where you just don't want to deal with this anymore. You don't want to have to um, repeat this cycle anymore. You don't want to have to deal with this pain anymore. And then with the six of wands, it's saying that you are, you're, you're, you're achieving quite a victory here in healing from this, whatever this is for you. For others of you, um, well, let me finish this off. Um, and you're, you're healing and you're reaching a victory and um, it's inspiring you. Okay. It's bringing forth a brand new passion, um, a greater sense of spirituality too. It's like you're, you're gaining, um, in, in, yeah, in healing this, whatever this has to do with your childhood, uh, you are gaining a new spiritual perspective. You may even be picking up some new techniques or rediscovering some talents that you didn't know you had in a spiritual sense. Yeah. For others of you talking about soulmates, um, you could be talking about twin flames. I am a twin flame guide. This, these, are, these readings are meant to be general for everybody. You don't have to be on a twin flame journey to um, to get a reading from me. Um, but because I am a twin flame guide, I will mention those re those energies. I haven't really been doing. I've been kind of iffy about doing it in the past, but I'm going to continue doing it because it's necessary. So for some of you. Um, when it comes to relationships, because this is for some of you talking about a soulmate or a twin flame relationship. Uh, someone is moving, moving slowly because we have the, the Knight of Pentacles, but they're moving um, and victory is at hand. It's like, I see them almost like carrying, carrying this pentacle towards you. And it's, it just feels so victorious, so victorious. Um, and Ace of Wands is talking about a reignition of, your, your love, your passion, your desire for each other, uh, a, a deeper connection or a greater connection with you two spiritually. Yeah. All right. Let's get into the storyline now. Okay. Starting you off Aries. We have the star mm -hmm. healing with, oh yeah, the empress. So, um, divine masculines, I'm going to speak to you for a second. Um, some of you are dealing with um, pain from your childhood that it has kept you from your twin, 
is what I just heard. And so as you as you heal these things, um, the star is guiding you towards this healing. The scar and the star is also I just said scar. Um, that was a Freudian slip. That resonates with some of you somehow, but. Um, the star is leading you towards what you truly desire, what you know you really want, but your conditioning from childhood has kept you from getting it. And what is that? You want the empress, okay? Um, for others of you, the star is talking about, the star and the empress are talking about um, birth to a, a, something new, okay? Um, it is absolutely talking about healing and starting over but not really starting over, just starting anew from a new standpoint with this new energy that you have and birthing a new reality into your life. Yeah. Next, we have the devil uh -oh. with the princess of sorts. So, or this is also the page of sorts. So for some of you, this is talking about absolutely um, investigating, figuring out what this devil is to you, figure out, figuring out what this... Um, attachment, what these chains are for you, uh, whatever, whatever happened to you in your childhood, you know, has really got you caught stuck with the devil, but with the princess or the page of swords, it's like you're investigating, you're figuring this out and you're making, you're taking decisive action. You're, you're, you're learning to take decisive action. Okay. You're investigating to take decisive action. Um, also, some of you divine masculines, I'm picking up that you're caught in this um, in this period where you're just you're just watching, you're spying on your divine feminine because you want her so bad, but you don't know how to get to her, and that's where the devil energy is coming in. That is why you you feel kind of stuck, and all you can do is just is just watch her, just look at her, because you don't feel like you're worthy enough. You don't feel like you could give her exactly what you know you want to give her and you know what she, that she wants to receive from you. Now, please understand, I am, when I say him and her, when it comes to divine masculine, divine feminine, I'm just speaking to the energies, not gender, okay? Um, yeah, that's a thing. And it sucks because you don't like being in this state. You want to reach out to her. You, you want to take her in your arms and hold her and, and tell her how much you love her and be there for her, but you don't feel like you're worthy. And this has to do with childhood issues, okay? But you're in the process of healing this, period. Next, we have the Three of Wands with justice. Yes, you're in the process of healing it. You, you know you're, you're in the state now where you're, you understand what's wrong. You've figured it out. You, you've found that challenge that, that has been plaguing you from your childhood. And now justice is being served because you're balancing it out. You're healing it. You are releasing it, letting go of it. You are finally allowing yourself to believe that you are, in fact, worthy. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, because you are. You really are, Aries. Stop. Please, 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 please. Don't. I don't want anyone to ever think they're not worthy. Everyone is worthy of that which they desire and that which is meant for them, too. Always. Always. No matter what has gone on in your life, no matter what you may have done what may or not have done, you're still worthy. Okay, there are going to be moments where the universe is kind of kind of going to have to just leave you to your devices because you got to learn the lesson. But you are always loved and supported and always worthy. All right. Moving forward, we have the Ten of Cups. It's in reverse um, and death. Okay, the Ten of Cups is in reverse, and I don't normally read um, reversals, but here this is this is. This is, needs to be here, um, but I'm going to turn it up right for now so you can see the card. The Ten of Cups, right? Ultimate fulfillment, love, um, emotional fulfillment, and all that, and death, okay? So the reason why um, the Ten of Cups came up in reverse is because you are finally releasing this resistance or this, this belief that you cannot find love, okay? Point blank. There really is nothing else to say here. Um, you're letting this go. You're healing from it and you're moving on. You're transforming out of this feeling of unworthiness to a much more stable and um, confident state. Yeah? Moving forward, we have the Queen of Cups right under the Empress, guys. So your divine feminine loves you. She says so. No matter what we've, no matter what has gone on between us, I still love you. Yeah? With... The Prince of Swords. So this is the Knight of Swords. So when this when this is coming up for you, Aries, this is talking about um, you just 
wanting to rush in, you wanting to communicate, okay? You wanting to just like fuck shit up basically in order to get to your feminine because you love her and she loves you too, guys. Let me tell you, I know I love my masculine more than anything <laughs> in this world. So um, just be careful because Mercury is in retrograde right now. Um, and uh, it's going retrograde until the 15th. So for the whole, for the full period of this reading, Mercury is going to be in retrograde and you really need to be careful about uh, communication. You, and, and especially since you're going through this period where you're healing um, and your emotions can be a bit raw, don't lash out. Try, at least try not to lash out, okay? Um, she loves you and you love her and we, we all know that. So just take your time. Maybe try not communicating much just to be safe. Like if you really feel like you can't um, communicate without saying something you don't necessarily mean, um, word vomit, then maybe try not to hold back or at least try and keep communication to a minimum just to, so that things don't get out of control, okay? Moving forward, we have judgment. Hearing a higher calling with the Eight of Cups. Yes, you're hearing a higher calling. Your higher self is calling for you to release these things that are, have been holding you back, okay? Release this conditioning from your childhood so that you can move forward with your life and um, you know, walk away from the things that are no longer fulfilling to you. I really feel like there are some of you Aries that I'm connecting with right now that are stuck in these situations because you felt obligated to get into them to begin with. And that's never good for anybody. It really isn't, guys. So really listen to yourself. Your higher self, your heart, the spirit, the universe, God, source, creator, whatever you want to call it. We're all calling out for you to step into your power now. Take your life back, okay? You don't have to feel like you are less than, ever. Next, we have the sun with the princess of cups or the page of cups in reverse. Again, this is a message of wanting to um, wanting to reach out, okay? Wanting to say something but feeling like you can't. But the sun is here illuminating everything saying, look, just know that you're worthy is what this is saying. Your energy is showing up here, Aries, with the sun. I mean, this is, well, yeah, because it's fire. Um, you specifically are, are represented by the emperor, but your energy, your fiery, bright, sunful energy is showing up here. Divine Masculine, you are worthy, all right? No matter what has happened in your life, no matter what has gone on between you and your twin, you are worthy, is what the sun is saying to you. Finally, we have... Seven of Wands with the moon. Guys, guys, look at this. The sun and the moon just popped up. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I'm going to tell you guys, I've been doing, I did um, the Twin Flame weekly readings last week with uh, this deck for the first time. And in between the reading, in between the feminine and the masculine, um, the sun and the moon popped out. And I am calling this deck my twin flame deck because of the way that the sun and the moon are depicted here. We have the sun as a masculine energy, and that's what the sun represents. And we have the moon, which is a feminine energy, which is also what the moon represents. Um, and so the counterparts are showing up. And then I've been doing readings, you know, I did a few, I did a reading for myself a few nights ago between me and my own twin, and the sun and the moon popped up again. Um, so what this is saying here, in relation to the Seven of Wands, um, stand your ground, hold your own. You know you love this person, okay? So fight for her, because she's been fighting for you, all right? And everything is, it's really, um, I'm also picking up here that no matter, regardless of what's happening in your life right now, it's really not what it seems. It's all in service of betterment for yourself, okay, Aries? So don't worry, because you are worthy. All right, Aries, there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you all. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy the first half of your month. I hope you guys enjoy your birthday. And I will see you guys for the second half of April. Yeah, take care, everyone. Much love. Bye.